Good morning. I hope my printer works because I am installing again my old Canon printer. I hope it works because I need to print some instructions for my bed and breakfast room which guests are coming on the 19th. So let's see now. Try to print, but I couldn't because there are no cartridges. I thought I bought when I just arrived. And then I remember I installed them and then I realized the uh, printing is not uh, working. Only the scanning. But I tried again today because I really needed to print some of the welcome uh, sheets for the, my bed and breakfast guests and um, um, guide tips and also instructions during their stay here and I couldn't print because there are no inks whatsoever so I don't know where I put those and um, yeah yesterday you know it's a little medical story I love um, some kind of um, uh, interventions but you know from the universe, I know, I know, I know to some it's like I sound hocus pocus in the way I speak maybe. But I've had so many, many experiences with divine interventions and, uh, and uh, um, what do you call that? Just synchronicities or serendipities. But anyway, yesterday... I was doing some calculations and then I realized, oh my God, on the 20th, I have to pay something. And I realized that, uh-oh, it's not enough. I don't know how to do the, about it, how to go about it. Because, you know, like I already mentioned earlier in my videos that, you know, even though I, I've, I'm older than many of you, I, I have not learned any accounting whatsoever or uh, home what do you call that uh, accounting so um, this is the first time but it's been five years now that I managed the financial situation on my own and uh, wow it, you know I don't like it <laughs> that's why I understand when some people don't like to grow up <laughs> because on this aspect I don't like to grow up <laughs> I like to stay as I was before without knowing how much I have to pay for the electricity and the, for gas or what not you know but again I take it as a challenge and it's time for me to grow up <laughs> even though it's so late by now but I hope it keeps me young though, you know. So anyway, and yesterday, I think, it's, was it around 9 o'clock? Anyway, it was already dark, I think. And then I casually, um, no, I didn't casually open the telephone. The telephone uh, sent a notification and I saw it's Airbnb. But, you know, normally I receive a lot of Airbnb uh, email but then a lot of them are inquiries you know oh okay uh, is that uh, the whole villa or uh, uh, is it just a room can we come with the whole family and of course it never came through most of them because with the price many expect to be the whole villa which is a joke because come on you know after the promotional price that the rate that the airbnb suggested us to offer they think that is the whole villa of course not <laughs> but yesterday it was a little bit unique because i thought you know okay airbnb notification i thought okay it's just another query and then i opened maybe like 10 minutes later and it was already confirmed but I wasn't, uh, you know, uh, aware that the person has already booked. All I know is, is how come her phone number is there, you know? Because normally, if you have not confirmed, because when you want to confirm a booking on Airbnb, you already have to pay with the credit card. So Airbnb charges you already. And the moment you arrive 
at the destination or at the, at the bed and breakfast uh, place, then the money will be transported the day after to make sure that everybody is happy, you know. So um, I saw her phone number already there and her uh, email address, I think it's through Airbnb because when you haven't paid, they don't release those details to the other uh, counterpart. So anyway, so I saw that, and, but the way she wrote there from Malaysia, the way she wrote, she just asked me, is it easy? Hi, is it easy uh, uh, for a Grab car or like a Uber car, which also is called Go Car here in Jakarta? So I just answered, yes, it's very easy without thinking that she's already confirmed. So I should have been much more friendly, you know, and welcoming until I realized, oh my God, she's already booked for two nights from the 19th to 21st. So of course I you know, wrote back, I said, please let me know the time uh, of your arrival. Oh, thank you for your uh, prompt reply. But she hasn't you know, informed me yet what time exactly they arrive, in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening even. So yeah, so that's what happened yesterday which is so uplifting i love this kind of like a game you know like a game oh my god sometimes you know you have to treat your problem like a challenge and a game challenge because you tell you should tell yourself okay i'm going to i'm going to learn something new new now something that i didn't know before okay i'm going to wreck my brain now or I'm going to brainstorm now with myself, you know, things like that. So take it as a journey to learn. And then second, also play a game with your, with, 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 with your predicament or your situation or your, uh, uh, to the universe, you know. Try to just relax. Like again, I said repeatedly, surrender. But at the same time, going towards what you want to achieve, not surrender and without doing anything and waiting. No, not in that sense, but surrender in a way that you don't have to be so anxious and worried and concerned and agitated and frustrated. You just relax. Stay calm and then you just surrender. But you know you're going towards the thing that you'd like to have. And lo and behold, I received this Airbnb confirmed booking instantly. It's not like I had to convince her. Or she had to ask me again some questions before she makes up her mind to book at my bed and breakfast so you see it, it, it's just mind-boggling you know but people don't understand who don't have that kind of you know uh, belief yes belief you have to have belief you know in the in the in the universe because you you how to say I, again you know i'm i'm short for words every time i uh, talk in front of the camera but you know, you, you, oh my God, I forgot. Or oh, somebody is at the gate. So anyway, so this is my uh, day today that now I am rewriting the welcome book, the guide tips, because there are many things that I didn't know before existed nearby here, since after all, I was visiting in Jakarta in the past. And now that I stay put here, I am learning learning much more um, extensively so that I can share with my guests, you know. And actually, I have a family from Holland who would like to stay here with the grandmother, with the uh, two sons, two daughters, and husband and wife. But at the same time, you know, I only allow two bedrooms here uh, on the ground floor and not upstairs because they really insist I would give Tanya's room, my daughter's room, because after all it's empty anyway. She doesn't have her things there. So uh, that's it. Um, yes, yeah, so, but I, I haven't said yes because I find it a little bit too much, uh, too much uh, chaos to have them come here. After all, also they 
have interest in spending their time in the center city of Jakarta. Uh, but I have uh, confirmed booking for uh, that, another Dutch couple. That other one is a Dutch family now from Brazil because they live in Brazil. And this one is Dutch couple, but they are currently in uh, central of Java already. So they would be arriving with train instead of plane. And that's why I have to arrange the, you know, pick up by car because they insist they want me to arrange uh, transportation instead of, uh, you know, jumping in the taxi or grab car, grab car or go car. So anyway, so that's my day today. And uh, this is my, again, Wednesday, um, third week vlog, as promised. And uh, I'm sorry, no makeup. And uh, I still have to uh, go back to my office upstairs to continue again writing, writing some more tips and instructions. Have a nice Wednesday. Here is cloudy. It's very humid. Just a short, short video from my mobile phone. Bye. Ciao, ciao. <music>